Good morning. It is a very crisp and cool morning out here in West Texas. There's kind of frost on the ground. And we have been working on the trail here at Lake Colorado City. And we got a lot done yesterday. But I've been wanting to make this video for some time. In 2016, I had major problems and issues with appliances in my house. And it just made me think even more about going full time. And so I've been collecting footage of everything that has gone wrong in my house to make this video. And ironically, I mean, there's some major, major things like air conditioner work and garage door problems and so it's always something. The one thing about, wow, there's frost on this trail. The one thing about um, owning a house or owning anything else is to have an emergency fund. Because if I wouldn't have had an emergency fund, it would have, I don't know, well, I'd maxed out all my credit cards, number one. Having emergency fund allowed me to tap into it and not to tap into, you know, just my regular checking account or tap into using my credit cards. I'm a big advocate for Dave Ramsey and what his ideology is on having no debt and paying off your credit cards and, you know, so this got me to thinking about all the footage I had taken about all the appliances and things that broke in my house last year. So with all the problems that I ended up having in the house, it made me even more speedily wanting to get into the RV full time. I understand that you know, just moving into the RV would not um, get rid of my problems. It's going to have problems. It's going to have maintenance. Things are going to break down, but that's the point of always having an emergency fund. Even when you're in the RV full time, you need to have an emergency fund. I compiled this list of everything that went wrong in 2016. So this is several reasons why to sell your house and move into the RV full time. You don't have to take care of a yard. another reason to sell your house and move into an RV. This was probably purchased, I get the green, probably purchased back in the 70s. The belts are broke and getting belts are something not really easy to get for these and then the little assemblies broke and this one is going to the trash. I'll show you what I got. Okay, so this is what I got. Abyssal Power Force Bagless Vacuum. I just hate that I have to buy a new vacuum cleaner um, for this house. Number three reason to sell your house and move into an RV full time. Where did that come from? <laughs> Somebody's building a nest. Oh, maybe he's in there. And there's nothing. The coals. They don't show. Man, that's why I thought maybe he was on. No, nah, because he can't get in there. No. Because like, it sounded like he was behind here. If he's behind there, that means he's. He went through your filter into your blower. Into the. Um, but I mean the coals, they don't look like because like see these these are bent, but they're they're like that. But on the inside, it doesn't look like anything's been moving around or anything. Okay, I have a clogged air conditioner. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay. 
number four. So you're looking at my water heater and I got into the shower this morning and it never did get any warmer and I thought oh no I guess my hot water heater has gone out. So the pilot light is off it is gas and so the pilot light will not light and stay lit. So the instructions say that you have to wait 10 minutes after each time because of the controller. So this will be my third time to try to light it and you have to wait to see there's a status light here and it should be blinking green and now I'm filming and my bird's gonna start talking this always happens I guess cuz he hears my voice and he's gonna talk back So he's going to have a conversation with me right now. I'm assuming y'all can hear that. So anyway, I'm going to put this on pilot. And push this in, and then you push this button. And in within 30 or 90 seconds, this is supposed to blink green. And I have yet to see any lights, any green or red or any color, so. Number five reason to sell your house and move into an RV. My garage door opener, the chain broke today, as you can see, it's broken. So they don't have one that fixes this rail here. Um, so you have to replace that the whole uh, motor and everything for the rail. Oh look, it looks like they installed it in 2000, so 16 years, that's not bad. <laughs> but also there is a busted spring right up there, which probably caused most of that. So $400 for the replacement of the motor and rail. There's RV. Number six. Always repairs needing to be made. I'm in the bathroom and I was just cleaning the sink. And now I've got to repair the, the little stopper thing. So it came loose from here. It is always something. And this house has a, it's a three bedroom, uh, three bathrooms. And I do not need three bathrooms. This is crazy. But, gotta fix this now. <laughs>